Hello, my name is Gabe Zala. Today is the 6th of November. I just watched a little uh, Fox News, uh, and they had a commercial of General Colin Powell, and what he was doing is he was endorsing President Obama. And what he said was that he's endorsing Obama because of the protection that Obama afforded to American citizens with respect to terrorism. That's interesting. Well, what Colin Powell might want to do is uh, take a look at uh, the definition of terrorism. And I think what we'll find is that uh, it's not what Obama says it is. If you take a look at what happened at Fort Hood when uh, Major Nadal Hassan went ahead and started unloading his automatic or semi-automatic weapons, screaming Allah Akrabar, he wasn't yelling, uh, you know, like, um, let's have peace, uh, let's have harmony. He was yelling al Akbar, which means God is great, as he's killing American soldiers and as he's wounding American soldiers. And Obama and his administration said that that was not uh, terrorism. That was workplace violence. You know what's amazing? As a general, as a military officer, how could you allow, how could you permit someone to call that workplace violence. How? How could you? How could you as an officer accept the fact that Obama allowed four United States citizens, including an ambassador, to, to be slaughtered? And what does he do? He goes to bed. Who could sleep? I had a dog that passed away. I couldn't sleep for about two weeks. And this guy, not only could he sleep in the morning, he looked like fresh as a daisy as he bounces off Air Force One and starts collecting money in Las Vegas for another fundraiser. The man is evil. And anybody, including yourself, General Colin Powell, that supports him, you're evil as well. You're ill-informed. And I don't know how you ever made it to become a general. You must have been on knee pads or something because it, it doesn't make any sense. You obviously don't have enough intellect to understand what's really going on in this country. And you continuing to uh, support Obama when you're a Republican? That's disgusting. Anyway, it'll end real soon, probably in less than five hours. We'll have a new president, we'll get rid of the old administration, and hopefully Obama and everyone complicit in his last four years will be held accountable under the RICO Act. That's what I hope happens. Thank you.